My dear parents and well wishers, I would like to welcome you all here today. Hope you will be happy to see see your little ones on this stage. Thank you. But this fellow said he was just taking the bucket or the cane he had taken from the legs and push it. No, Subhash, Subhash, what is that? 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 They were all coming to bend it. Ah, these two had on their own, they had done. They had to only come to bend it. These two and this one had jumped into the into the well on their own. Uh, why, did they, why did they jump? Because they said that they like, without using the bucket, they like to uh, have a dive and then buy. But they know it's not allowed. They know it's not allowed. Yeah. Do you know what they do? Do you know what they do? Do you know what they do? He says, because the others asked, that's why he had pushed him uh, the rest into the well. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to
Because the big children mm -hmm. uh, never waste their books or do any harm to their books and whatever the stationery they get for, for school going. But only the smaller ones, because still they, because they were small and they does not know, that's why they may be tearing their books and uh, not uh, properly using. But the elders, of course, they, they know. And they fight a lot here. He says they are fighting, but that is for fun. Not that they are having any hatred or revenge. They say, they are fighting, but that is for fun. Not that they are having any hatred or revenge. They are fighting, but that is for fun. Not that they are having any hatred or revenge. They are fighting, but that is for fun. He does it. Oh, he says there are some. When they get angry, they were uh, they keep their anger for about two to three days, and again they get friendly. That is child. Would he ever run away? Then someone is to Mataka, is to rock one at the other Emma Matakane. Dano Namutti. No, he knows uh, how to go to rock one, but anyway, he haven't any intention of running away, it seems. No? No, no. 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 Because he does. Why does he want to stay here? Why does he want to stay? Uh, that may be because the father. It's a good issue to come at the main Oh, he says he's like, he likes the place. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is, I ask you a question, mm -hmm. and you answer, you give your answer, and you ask them if it's true. Oh, that way yeah. they don't speak. You yeah. have to ask them direct, more direct. Yeah. I, I understand their voice. Yeah. But see, when I ask you, uh, why does he want to stay? Now what you say is to ask from him whether he likes this place. Isn't no. it? No. I wanted to ask why he doesn't want to run away. Oh. And, but when you have to ah, do right. uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> what, you, what, you, you, what you're doing is, you say, uh, you don't want to run away because you like it here. And he says yeah, yes, yeah. because it's easy to say yes. But you, you can't ask that. You have to ask, uh -huh. why don't you want to run away? Uh -huh. Let him to speak. Uh -huh. uh, then are you hard now? Then how the garmini? Panel again? Take that one second. It's a then. Oh yeah, key one. Oh yeah, him panel again. Then next year, hey, him oh yeah, key one. Hey, oh yeah, him key one. Panel again. Did like that? Then I say then I think good again. Ah, he says. Uh, now he doesn't know where his father is living. And if we come back, he is sure that he will get a beating. Beating from the... Oh, 
ஒழுங்கு பாத்திர புடிச்சு தான் செய்ய நான் ஒழுங்கு புடிச்சாச்சு நான் வந்து பாருங்க लुवान कोई बात ही नहीं लुवान कोई बात ही नहीं हाँ वह बस्ते के लिए यार ये वैन में लिए यार बात ही नहीं करना है कार है हाँ ये जाऊँ कोई मैं गोमदान ने मैं पुकू मैं पुकू रहने वाला हूँ कौन मार रहा है कम भी कम भी बरसे हैं। बरसे हैं बरसे हैं पहला बागन है तो है पहला बागन तो यार Kau tak ingin naik dengan kapal lagi? Kau lagi di mana? Di dalam. Kau naik tu. Ini 
when Musalvi visited this place, and the Sebastiano told this Musalvi, I met him, he wants to help you uh, to put up dormitory. I was surprised because I got I was surprised how, how it can happen because these medical people now these people can help. Actually, I thought like that. I took him because if anybody comes here, so my character is there like that. If anybody comes, I will show everything. From where these boys have come, what these boys are doing, how we are living here, from where we get funds, everything I explained to him. Then I took around here, everywhere I took him. I saw the dormitory, how boys are sleeping, how boys are suffering while they sleep. I took to dormitory, dormitory, then I took how our kids, small ones are sleeping. And I saw he got upset. He got upset. Then he asked me, how much you need money for this project? I told him, I have an estimate, I have a building plan. Then he said, you give me. Then I gave it to him. Next day when he came here, your project, project is sanctioned. He said, I got upset, how it can be? It's, it's like a miracle. I, uh, because I, I was start to shivering, no? I was start shivering. How oh, it's possible to get this much money to put up this dormitory? And I was so happy. Then first of all, what I did, when he said your project is sanctioned, I took a phone call to my former director, one was here before me. Now he, he was very happy. He says to hear this word, I am also getting. I, I, I was also shivering, he says. <laughs> he says, I was, because it's, it, this kind of things is uh, happening very rarely. You know? it's, it's like a miracle for us, because we have been trying for long years, last long time, no? We are trying for hmm, many years. This boy, Tuan. Um, one or two weeks ago, uh -huh. the driver of St. Vincent's was yeah. passing by walking. He threw a stone and broke his glasses off. Uh, so where, where was he? Where he was, was this boy? He was here in Nombor. He was in the Nombor school and uh, he had particularly, on purposely had done it or accidentally? Purposely. Same thing happened. My son was... Uh, just a little boy, about four years. Actually, I you because he had, I never sent him with, because I was new to the place, and I don't know the environment, so I didn't send my son with the neighbor. Mm. Tell you the truth, that is right. And I used to play with him. Hmm? And my next door, there were some, my husband's cousins, there were some little children at that time, so he used to play with them also. Suddenly, even I was cooking or doing some work inside, the, my small fellow came running inside. Then that cousin, uh, little girl came and told me, uh, Fidizanti, uh, Mali had stuck the, uh, that uh, uh, St. Franciscan van was going, he had stuck a stone. But it was accidentally and it had stuck the windscreen. Nothing happened, then when my son came, uh, actually, I won't, uh, I didn't, he came and told me. He did, but he said he didn't do it purposely, but anyway, I knew 
that brother because the brother used to come to our front door house then i explained to him then brother said no he saw uh, he saw a small chap had thrown the stone and had run away then and there he had told that boy hadn't done it purposely it it was an accident thing then i showed the i showed my son he was tiny uh, then father smile anyway father said luckily it didn't struck it uh, actually otherwise if the windscreen breaks i have to pay about for at that time the rate would be about 35000 i was i was stuck and i imagine if such a thing happened how could i pay because to tell you the truth my husband doesn't do any job i am the one who have to get this tuition and become my child and do all the housework with all the expenses what my husband does he he worked before before i got married uh, he had work in many places and after i got married we got married in 1983 in 1993 he lost lost his job since that is unemployed but he drinks shouts regards everything because i have love and affection to my son i managed to bring him up to his a level he did his a level and i'm proud to tell you now in this that's why these days i'm a little busy i didn't tell you until now he's been going to the sri lanka air force he's joining this saturday he has to go from colombo they will be taken to dirtala and i have lot of work to do with him so that's why uh, i get a little bit late and all that so i am happy but to all this i had god's love god's courage everybody will take actually people knows how i do that with, with the struggle of teaching and i used to walk pass in that now the you know this muslim boys used to go to that muslim school far beyond the bridge i used to walk because i don't have money to pay my bus fare understand and with all that i managed to bring up bring up my child because i love and that's why i told you these two, sometimes these mothers may not have the love that's why they don't take care about their children if they have the love they somehow they, they will find they are children they don't have the love so and i'm proud with the god's help i managed to bring up my child as god said i sow i sowed the good seed and my son harvested it so i'm happy that's my story <laughs> Thank you. 
Osol Gomez, Archbishop of Colombo, Gil Fernando Nob, the President of AMI, Dr. Bobili, donated by AMI Portugal.
Thank you. 